What's up guys, it's Dallas, aka Soup City, aka Austin, and today I'm going to be opening up three boxes of Digimon Premium Pack 1, set 01. Um, so, it's kind of a long story of, of how I got these actually, so if you're, if you're not familiar with um, these packs, um, they are, they contain four booster packs, two packs of 1.0 and two packs of 1.5, and along with two promo Rise Greymon, which I will show you. And these were released, these were actually one of the sets that was released in, um, at GameStops, um, that was a, you know, large vendor that they were available at, as well as Target, um, I believe. I'm, I'm honestly not sure the state of Digimon cards at Target. I've looked a few times because I've heard from some people that um, their targets are were just stopping selling Pokemon and sports cards and that Digimon weren't affected. And then I've seen um, one of my local targets just have a completely blank, nothing uh, card section. So I think it kind of varies. And then Walmart is getting some uh, limited distrib distribution of 1.0 and 1.5 and the starter decks as well, the first starter decks. So I'm definitely going to be looking out for those starter decks because um, I still haven't gotten any of those. But back to the 1.5, these were at GameStop and so um, I called up several GameStops in my area. Most of them said we don't have any, we're not going to get any, and one of them said we're going to be getting them May 28th, which was the release date for them. I believe Target got them on early release a couple weeks earlier. Um, and so I said, all right, I'm going to come to your store when you open on May 28th, and I'm going to get my hands on, you know, three or four of these. And I, I got there when they were unlocking the doors. I was the first person in. I said, hello, I hear that you're gonna be getting some uh, Digimon cards, premium pack. And the guy looked at me very confused and said, nope, I, I don't have any. And so I was like, all right, well, I was told that they were going to be here. And he looked up on his computer and said, these three stores, um, you know, surrounding towns say that they have them in stock. And so I said, okay. And I called up each one of those three stores individually less than 10 minutes after they opened. And every single one of them said, yep, sold out immediately, you know, before I would have been able to even drive there. And so that was really frustrating because I, you know, I called, I'm pretty sure most, if not all of those stores and asked them if they were getting the cards and they said no. And they got them, and the one that I called and did say that they were going to have them did not have them. So that basically led me to the point of being like, all right, I could either, you know, give up or just, like, continue, continue going on with this, like, really frustrating, just, like, trying to go, you know, call people and go to the stores and continually get disappointed or I could just pay a little bit more and order them online, which is what I did. So I got these three from, from one vendor um, on eBay. The, the price of these at MSRP are $16. I got these for 22 and I believe free shipping, maybe $3 shipping. So honestly, not a bad deal, all things considered. There were several of uh, other listings online that were valued at um, or priced at $25 or more. So not terrible, um, but just because this is Soup City budget collecting, I was a little irritated that I had to pay, you know, $6 over um, MSRP. But I'm happy to get them at least. And, um, you know, you may be thinking, uh, didn't BT4 just come out? Why are you getting these these old cards? Well, um, there are lots of cards that I still want to collect for my own personal collection, and there are lots of cards that 
are relevant in BT4 from you know 1.0, 1.5, and will continue to be relevant or will become relevant in later sets. So I still wanted to be able to um, you know collect a lot of these cards and have a good um, foundation for this. And from what I've seen, these can have really really good pull rates. I it seems like they're pretty random. I've seen some people open up one SR per box, and I've seen people op open up three out of four <laughs> SRs uh, per box. So they can be really good, and so I, I figure the, the value is, is worth it to get those um, SRs. So without further ado, let's open them up. So I, I don't know if anyone else was surprised, but I was definitely surprised with how small these are. You can see, you know, in relation to my hand, um, how big they are. I mean, obviously the packs can fit in there um, nicely, but for some reason the pictures that I saw on the internet uh, just seemed like they were going to be a lot bigger. Um, looks like they're sealed with some tape on top here. But I'm definitely all for it because I think there's so many different wasteful packaging that we that we have um, and this you know fits perfectly in there so that's a good thing let's see if we can get all these packs out of here one more straggler so here is the promo rise graymon we'll take it out of the packaging here um, so each package comes with the four booster packs, like I said, and two Rise Greymon. So I'll be getting six total, obviously two more than a play set. So hopefully I'll be able to um, trade or sell these um, to kind of flip to fund more, more cards that I'm looking for. But those are some pretty cool cards and exclusive promos to this set so all right let's well maybe we'll go 1.0 first for this one all right as per usual no jinxing ourselves for what what our chase cards are and hope for the best it's been working out for us so far if you haven't already, um, check out my box openings for uh, 1.5 and B, uh, BT4. Very happy with those pulls. Got a Pixiemon, Dimension Scissor, Tyranomon, Kokuamon, Liamon, Garurumon, Boring Storm, Tinkermon, Saber Leomon, Demi Devimon. As a rare, got TK. Nice. Um, I have not opened up very much 1.0, um, so I'm definitely going to be happy with a lot of these cards that I don't have. So I know this is a pretty valuable card too. So TK and Karaman rare. Nice. I think this is pretty valuable as well. Let's see what that inheritable. We can play another Digimon with the same name as this Digimon. Trigger draw one. Interesting. Okay, so we got our rares there. Open up this 1.0. So if you guys have opened up the 1.5, or the um, premium packs rather, um, what do you think about the set? Happy with it? Think it's kind of overkill? Um, happy with just like being able to get some more 1.0 and 1.5 or just some at all. Um, like I said, having this available at other distributors like GameStop that are readily available to a lot of um, people all over the U.S. at least. Um, I think that that's a pretty good thing. Mega Kabuterimon. Magnadramon. This is a very valuable card. Um because of this ability here on play recovery draw or recovery plus two so you you can just hard play this it's obviously 11 cost so pretty pretty big but you can just straight up put two 
two cards from your deck onto your security pile, which is super, super valuable. And it's obviously a big body that you can uh, use to attack, so. Pretty nice. And onto the rares. Mad Dog Fire. I'm gonna set that one aside. And Lilithmon. Nice. So the first SR for our premium pack sets. Set that up there. So already out of two packs, I mean that that pack especially was really great with the Lilithmon and the Magnajamon, but then also getting the TK um, out of that pack. Um, I'm not entirely certain, but I think that all three of those cards, um, move that. Um, all three of those cards have some solid value moving forward. Positron Laser, Lava Garima, Minomon, nice, I think I needed a couple of those, Valkyrie Mine, I like the, I like a lot of these uh, full art uh, comments and uncommons, I like that as a feature, Testament, and Mastemon, nice, so another purple SR. And there's purple yellow. And I've actually seen um, some interesting deck profiles for um, a mostly yellow deck playing Mastemon because Mastemon has this ability. Let's see there. Um, when digivolving, uh, you can play one purple or yellow Digimon with a level of four or less from your trash without paying its memory cost. So there's a number of, um, I mean, obviously just being able to play a card for free is valuable inherently, but um, there's a number of purple and yellow Digimon that can um, benefit from that. One of them being Bushiagumon who has Rush. So it could attack that turn. It doesn't have the, um, um, I'm blanking on it now, the play sickness or something, like the on play sickness, where you can't play it, um, or it can't attack the turn that it's played. So another valuable card moving forward. So like I said, I, I think that there's definitely a reason to pick these up now, even with the recent release of BT4. Um, and at the time of recording this, um, BT4 isn't actually officially released. Um, just the pre-release happened this past weekend, and then the official release um, happens this uh, next weekend. Vikemon. Mallow Myota Spawn as a rare, and Grace Cross Freezer. Okay, so two SRs out of the first box. So right about at the average, I would say, like I said, I, I've seen one to three. So two is not bad, not great, just pretty good. But I mean, you know, 50%, um, you know, when you compare that to, um, when you compare that to like a booster box, um, you know, that's much better. So booster boxes, um, actually, BT4 has, here's the other Rise Greymon, um, BT4 actually has even better ratios than 1.0 1.5. There's 10 um, SRs um, per box out of 24 cards, so less than 50% uh, for sure. So let's start with the 1.5s this time, shall we? Switch it up a bit. And then obviously if you just open a booster pack, it's uh, never know what you're going to get. Commandramon. Megasidramon. Garudamon. Blossomon. Clockmon. Holy Wave. Volcanic Flare. Demi Beamon. Lotmon. One of my favorites. Goldramon. Another one of those cool full arts. Ooh, nice. Rare Salamon. This is another one that is definitely useful in BT4 format. And ooh, we got another one. Ragnalordmon. Nice. 
So one for one on the first box, or the second box, rather. First pack of the uh, second box. Man, I don't, I don't know the best way to open these packs, but I like the pull tab getting it started. It's so hard to um, just fold them in half on, off the back like I usually like to. Mummy Mom. Lightning Paw. Arcomon. Seedramon. Teoludamon. Poromon. Ludamon. Terriermon. Another one of my favorites. Ooh, nice. Bry Um Getting this Magna Dramon and, and this one. Um, I'm definitely hoping to build um, like a black red blocker Ragnar Lordmon deck. I played it a couple times and it is brutal to, to play against. So um, looks looks like fun to play. So, and Aerovidramon. Nice. So some more quality rares of those onto the 1.0 packs. Monodramon, Gardramon, Arthodeck, Dolphmon, Pumpkinmon. Ooh, excellent. Another Magnadramon. I'll have to look this up. I'll put the put the cost on screen. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a valuable card. Um, Petermon. Another TK. And Another Karamon. I think I pulled both of those in the same order <laughs> in one of those packs. Uh, I think in the first pack of the last box. So that's kind of funny. I feel like I've seen that a couple of times too, where um, I think in my 1.5 box opening, um, I pulled like a an Anjouamon and a Lady Devimon like right next to each other. Um, a couple of times, possibly. Rupmon. Hornbuster. Volcanic Tramon. Leomon. Nice. Kurisarimon. Nice. I don't think I have this one. I think I just have the promo. Metal Edamon. Mad Dogfire as a rare. And we got another SR. Another Lilithmon. Kind of a bummer to be getting duplicates when there's, <laughs> you know, so many different cards that we could be getting, but I'm not going to complain about that. Sorry. So, so looks like two for two, um, or two out of four in that box as well. So maybe that is kind of the average. Third set of Rise Greymon. Keep that sealed. Oh, forgot a pack in there. Don't want to forget that. All right. Let's go one and one. How about that? I'll really switch it up. Wait a minute. Are these? No, this is. This is one point I was a little thrown off by that because I know that Shine Greymon. Um, is in 1.5, not 1.0. So I, <laughs> I thought that we got uh, three 1.5 packs um, for a second there. But false alarm. All right, first pack of the third and final box. Gomamon, all time favorite Digimon. Zubamon, Ray of Victory, Upamon, Rise Kramon, which is effectively the same um, card as this, just a different art, and Shine Greymon, very nice. So I don't believe that Shine Greymon is used very much, if at all, in this BT4 format. 
Um, we'll save the Omni Mon. Omni Mon pack for last. Go with this other 1.0. I don't think that Shine Grey Mon's super relevant in BT4. Um, despite being so um, hyped up um, for 1.5. But still a good card nonetheless. Digitamon. Mucho man. Anderman. Ogreman. Kapuman. Yagaman. Yegaman. Defeaderman. Tinkerman. Rare Togemon. And. Ooh, rare Upamon. This is another really valuable rare from this set. And I don't have any of these, so. Nice. Valuable blue Digitama. All right, so we'll do this other 1.5. All right, and Telamon. Oops, put my rares over there. Make sure the stack doesn't fall over. Argoban, that is limited. Delicate plan. Great artwork. Argoban. XV Mon, nice, another valuable card from 1.5. Even though I do already have a playset. And Mimi. I'm pretty sure that this is a valuable um, tamer as well moving forward. I mean, to my knowledge, I think most of these Tamer cards are pretty solid. Um, you know, the 1.0, 1.5 Tamer cards um, moving forward. So, can't complain about getting some Tamers. All right. Final pack. Let's see if we can go out with a bang. Gorilla Man. Metal Greymon, another uh, great card for that uh, Black Ragnalordmon deck I was talking about. Goblimon, Blade of the True, Impmon, Black, or er, Dark Tyranomon, Saber Leomon, Demi Devimon, Bergermon, Rare War Growlmon. Can we get a hit on the final? And Seraphimon. This is another, um, I'm pretty sure that this is um, relevant moving forward. This is another recovery uh, one on Digivolve. So you don't have to give your opponent 11 uh, memory, um, just uh, three to Digivolve. So very nice, very nice. So. I'll do a quick recap of some of the notable cards. So some of the big cards that we pulled, these two Magnadramon, like I said, are, even though they're uncommons, they're definitely valuable cards. Um, I know that I played um, against uh, these cards for uh, the infamous McDonald's control, and it is very difficult to play against, so um, that goes to show the value of those. Upamon is definitely a staple Digitama for um, a lot of blue decks moving forward. Salamon um, is definitely um, a staple for a lot of the yellow decks that are moving. Um, that and yellow is like the biggest, um, uh, at least anticipated deck of the format. These TKs, I'm not entirely sure, but I know um, for yellow that they are definitely useful in the future. Um, and then kind of quickly going through some of uh, all the rares, XVMon, Mimi, um, like I said, the, the Tamers and the Digitama are always going to be valuable um, in the future. Excited about um, these two cards here, Bryludramon and Aerobidramon in the future. Um, and I think Testament's pretty solid, too. A lot of these yellow cards are very relevant. 
moving on to the SRs. I guess this is, uh, what, what does that say there? It's like, oh, that just says promo, obviously, because it's a promo. Um, but it is, is a hollow, so I got two of those sleeved up, and then I've got um, the other four of them still in the packaging. Two Lilithmon. Like I said, pretty solid pull. Same with this Mastemon. Ragnalordmon, hoping to use this in the future. Shine Greymon, and then Seraphimon, another good um, yellow mega for those uh, yellow control decks to keep stacking the security pile. So definitely happy with the value there. Um, like I said, I paid a little bit over MSRP, but I'm definitely just happy to be able to open these up and get some more staples that I'm uh, hoping to use moving forward and then also to be able to trade for the cards that I that I want uh, now. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more of this comment or for more of this content. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing more Digimon um, content in the future, um, some deck profiles once I acquire those cards, as well as the deck profile that I've um, talked about in some of my other uh, videos about the the one deck that I played for my uh, kind of brief stint in the 1.5 uh, format. And we'll see you in the next video.